Welcome back to another pottery video. Today is a very exciting video. We have a completely full kiln. Whoa. That kiln is completely full of glazed pottery. It is the first glazed kiln in the new studio. So, future video to come is gonna be a studio tour, I promise. But you've seen glimpses of it and I just gotta like get a couple things into place and then we'll do a full recap of how we built the studio, everything. But we have an exciting video for you today. I just wanna talk about our new sponsor. Our new sponsor is Mako, Mako Colors. So I, the quick story about Mako, they reached out to me and said, hey, have you ever tried Mako glazes? And I said, nope, I haven't, I'd love to try them. And then the next week was like Ensika. And Ensika is the National Council of the Education for Ceramic Arts. And that was in Minneapolis, so I went, and I went over to the Mako booth, and they had this amazing display of all their colors. And it was all their combinations. Uh, that they had. So each like piece of clay was two different glazes. And it, it blew me away, honestly. I was like, I basically only needed three different glazes layered on top of each other to achieve the same effect that they were achieving with just two uh, glaze combinations on each other. So I kind of reached out to them and said, hey, like I love these glazes. I'm kind of looking for some new fun colors, some new combinations that I haven't done. And they were super cool and said, yeah, we'll send you stuff and we'd love to be a sponsor of the show too. So thank you to Mako Colors. In this kiln is a bunch of their new glazes that you sent me, 11 to be exact. So they sent me 11 new glazes. Here's the list right here of the glazes that they sent me. So I'm gonna be testing them all out and then I'm gonna share them with you guys. So when you find combinations that you like that I do, you can go to Mako and buy them. So check out the link in the description below uh, if you're interested in any of the Mako stuff. That's it, now to unload in the kiln. And keep in mind, I unloaded like 50 kilns in the old studio. How's, how's the echo? Is the echo better now? So keep in mind, this is the first ever uh, kiln unloading. So we're gonna be switching it up a lot. Like, I don't know if the camera here is good. And then I unload it out here, but. Let's do it. First ever thing in the new studio is this bowl thing. So this is a in the canyon skies, just a random thing that I made with little little like pockets for like chips and dip and salsa and crackers and whatever. Use your imagination. Oh shoot, too much stuff around here. Basically what I did, I'll, sh I'll put in some pictures. I did, so we're doing this tile backsplash for the studio, right? So and I was gonna use all these new Mako colors. And so we have a planter and a plant, or no, not a plant, a planter and a plate that the planter sits on and a tile for each new Mako color that we got. And honestly, I'm gonna pull these out of here and I don't know what they are gonna. Here is, I know what this one is. This is the soft matte red. This, no idea what that one is. Can you see that? So I'm gonna have to set these all up and I'll, I'll insert pictures of them with, with the color that they are so that you know. But at the current time I'm filming this, I do not know so what some of them are. Ooh, that's a cool one. I can get, I, I, I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. That's like a kind of a grayish metallic -y color. It's white with all, some speckles in there. This one I know is the bright blue gloss. This one is like a darker blue, not sure what it is. Look at that, that is, Freaking dope. And then this one is really cool too with those speckles in there. Woo! That's really cool, I like it. So here I have these tiles. These are the tiles for the backsplash. That's blue surf, that's Aurora green. Oh, and did you see how I color? We color coded these kiln shelves, stilts, furniture. What are these called? Someone comment below, tell me what these are called. Kiln furniture, kiln stilts, kiln something or other. <laughs> so this one must go, so here's the planter and it goes on this one. That's very neato. Here's the bright blue gloss. 
So this is a planter that has the tray built into it. This, I just threw this in one piece and then it has holes in the bottom so that the water can drip out. And then this one is cool. Clearly goes with, it's got holes in the bottom. This one goes with this one, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, so cool. I just cannot wait. So these are obviously just one glaze on this, right? Like this is the blue splatterware. And then like, they're just cool on their own. Let alone like, I can't wait until I try them in combination with each other. I think the results are gonna be out of this world. So here's the bright green gloss. That is bright green. It's like, I'm like too overexposed in the camera to even really see it. Then there is, this is the Norse blue. Oh, that is cool. There's the soft red matte. So then that will go on this one. And then here, not sure what that one is, but it's a very, very dark blue. Got a couple little pinholes. That, when it was a little thicker, it didn't pinhole, but when it was a little thinner, it got a little pinhole. Okay, so then the, the way that I'm keeping track of what those all are is these tiles. And these are gonna be for this backsplash. But so like this is mirror black, so I know that, I know that this, which is the same as this, is the mirror black. So I think you guys are gonna like all the pictures of before and after that I took. So then this is the, uh, the blue splatterware. So that goes in this. Oh no! Oh! Broken! Ah! Fool's gold. Galaxy. The galaxy, I think I need to, that one's not on thick enough. So that's not a true indication. There, this one is cool. That mirror, wait, mister. It says mister. Midnight rain, that's what it is. I, I cannot tell you how excited I am about these glazes. Like, I'm so excited. <laughs> like, literally my heart is beating so fast because I'm so excited. So then this one is sapphire. This one must be bright blue gloss, which got a little weird, but. Oh! Here's the bright green gloss. That is bright green. And here is MM, which stands for, no idea, Mocha Monkey. I gotta, I gotta look at my list of glazes. Remember when I said MM, and I was like, what the heck does MM stand for? Well, it's actually whoop, winter wood, so it's WW. Winter wood. That's future John helping out past John. Color coding. I don't know where I, did, where I got that idea. I think I got that color coding idea from one of the pottery groups that I'm in. Like either pottery heads or clay buddies. I think I read a comment in there that was like, oh, you could color code them with underglazes. And that's what I did. Did I show you these already? So this one is copper ore. And so this one is the same as this guy, which I like love that. It's hard for me to overstate the excitement that I feel about these new glazes. And I'm not just saying that because Mako sponsored this video. Ooh, that copper ore. So here's this copper ore, right? Totally dripped on the, on the shelf. Oh, I don't think I can get it off. So see how that fused down there? So I'll probably try and get that off, but you know, I had no expectations with these. This was totally just for Ooh, that kind of looks like the Kurt Hammerly little twist in there. Thanks, Kurt, for your inspiration on that, that one. But here's this blue splatterware. That's really cool. So it's kind of like a matte white with those little blue specks in there. That mirror black. If anyone has ever used, um, I think it, I think uh, Palladium is one that Amico has. You can like really see yourself in that. Do you see that? That's really cool. Oh, so this is the first ever pot thrown in the new studio, which I will be keeping for myself on 6-1-2019. I'm kind of nostalgic sometimes in that way. And so this is the Fool's Gold. I'll go on that. So far, this is really the only glaze that I'm like, meh, it's okay. And that would be the, so I don't know if it's just not thick enough or what, but because the galaxy, or maybe I didn't get enough of those crystals in there. Like Mako uses a lot of these crystals like this, like this is super cool. So, so these crystals in there will create those like little black and, and flex and stuff like that. This, so this is Aurora green with green opal underneath it. Very cool glaze. That Aurora green is really matte finishy and the, when it, you combine them, the green opal is pretty, 
uh, glossy. Here is the Blue Surf, and this is on B clay, so this is a little different clay than I normally use. Like, all the rest of that stuff is buff stoneware from Continental Clay. This is B clay from Continental Clay, which is like a whiter, uh, more like mix between stoneware and porcelain. So it throws a little different, looks a little different, but so far the glazes look pretty similar. Um, boom! And that's it. These are the last three. So this again is that green opal mix, Norse blue. So you guys, super excited for all these tests that are to come. These are just like the initial, I'm just testing what the glaze looks like by itself on a piece of clay, on buff stoneware, most of them. And then all the future videos will be trying out all these different combinations. So basically Mako had their wall up of like these combinations where each Thing was two different glazes layered on top of each other. And then they had a key of like one through 85 or 90 or whatever. So you can go check them all out on their website. Um, and then basically I picked like my 17 favorite combinations to try. And then I went through each of them. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. A little ship out of there. Squirrel. You can tell I have a little ADD action. Um, so then, what was I talking about? I went through all their combinations, looked at which glazes like I could make some combinations that I liked with them, and then they sent me 11 of the ones to start with. So that's what this is. That was the, so now the planters are actually gonna get planted and put at Mocha Monkey. We used to always get fresh flowers for each table at Mocha Monkey, but I decided that A, we were having to throw out flowers all the time, and B, I just wanted to switch it up. So we got like, we're gonna get like some succulents and plants and stuff and plant them in these planters. Um, so if you go to Mocha Monkey in the, Sometime in the future, you'll see like on each table, we'll have like that and then that. Shout out again to the sponsor of this video, Mako Colors. Check out the link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video and sending me those sweet glazes, which I cannot express how excited I am to keep on <gasps> doing all that stuff. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, all the things. Join the Patreon community if you want to get access to, oh, the patrons now, I think I'm gonna do where I tell them if I'm having sales. So patrons will get first access to anytime I put anything up on Etsy or put up stuff up for sale, um, just because they're the ones that are putting up some uh, stuff. So join for three, five, 10, 25 bucks a month, whatever you want. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video.